this is a merge method in the merge shot so once we have uh, got individual element in the each sub list we will call the merge method in this merge method we will merge individual elements together so we will start from this step so here we are passing the array so in this array we will pass the first index uh, first array you, this is first array this is second array we will uh, take like that so now uh, we are uh, defining a temporary array uh, that is having the maximum size the maximum size is the array size this is 8 so now we are having the temporary array first one is the beginning of the first subarray so beginning index is 1 one is the beginning index we are assigning last index is assigning as a middle middle index is end of the first subarray first subarray end is again here here it is one then uh, first first two variable is indicating the second array second array first index second array first index is here two so middle plus one so middle is one we passed here so one plus one is Two, right then last uh, second index uh, i mean uh, last index of second array last index of second array so that is last so last we have passed this is the index two we have passed okay so this is two right now we are uh, uh, having assigning the uh, index uh, for loop uh, first one this is the value one first one less than or equal to one okay last one is here uh the last one is here the index of the index of the first last index of the first array last index of the first array one less than r1 it is true then first uh, first index of the second array is uh, uh, here first index of the second array is 2 middle plus 1 so 2 less than or equal to uh, last index of the second array is also true so both are true if it is true what we will do we will check the array of first one array of first one is first index okay first index so array of first index is six so six less than array of second first index second subarray first index is three so six less than three this is false if it is false it will come here so temporary array index is assigned with array of first to two what is the value of first two so second index first index second in, uh, second array first index three so three is the value which is assigned into temporary array so this is the temporary array so now three is assigned three is assigned into the index value what is index value one so in the temporary array of one right this is the temporary array of one we assigned the three then we are incrementing the uh, index of second array incrementing the uh, index of second array second array index now it is uh, first two is incremented so it will become now two it will become now sorry the first index first index two, two is two so it will be incremented two plus plus it will become three okay so now the index value is three again the for loop is incremented so for loop is here incremented index value is incremented so index value is now two right so once it is incremented and now then uh, again we will check first one is here not done anything so one uh, less than or equal to one condition is true first two first two is also here uh, first two second index first array two less than or uh, yeah it is incremented okay three it is three less than or equal to two so condition is false condition is false so condition is false it will come out of the loop once it is come out of the loop as yes, yes of now three is placed in the index okay so this is now over false it came false here so once it came false here it will come out of the loop so now we will check first subarray still we didn't locate the six into the temporary array this is the temporary array right so now we are checking first one less than or equal to last one yes first one is also one last one you look at that first one is also one last one is also one so yes it is true then we are incrementing the first one right so first one is incrementing so at that time we are passing okay we are pa we are uh, passing that first one what is the value available in the first one six so this is the six so six is available here right so six is uh, copying into the temporary array six is copying into the 
temporary array so 6 is now copying into the temporary array so here the index value here in the first one is incremented now okay right first one is incremented now so index of 2 so in this index of 2 temporary okay in, uh, index is incremented this actually has to come here okay uh, index is incremented so this is index value is 2 now then uh, first one array of first one is here this one the 6 is placed into the temporary array of 2 so now these two elements are merged these two elements are merged so now you are check the this one so here the first two is here 3 less than or equal to 2 you look at that first two is 3 and the last element last value is 2 so this is false so it will not execute right so then again you will go back right again you have to go back you have to call uh, this one 3 and 4 you have to apply same thing so now first sublist is done second sublist is this one okay uh, 3 and 4 okay uh, you have to pass this one so here first index will be 3 middle index will be 3 last index will be 4 so again you have to apply the same thing right 3 3 here 4 here 4 you will do uh, same process as we discussed for this subarray you will get 1 comma 9 then here uh, again you will call same uh, merge shot for these two for these two right for these two again you will get uh, one here middle element is uh, uh, middle value will be the here uh, 1 plus 4 5 so here middle value will be a uh, uh, 2 right right here it will come uh, 4 okay so then you will uh, you will merge this together 1 3 6 9 so like that you will call this sublist this one so 5 4 it will be arranged like this 2 7 will be arranged like this so finally you will get uh, two sublist so in this one we will take uh, two sublist for merging the first sublist is having the first index 1 middle index is 4 uh, then second index first array uh, for, uh, second array first index will be 5 uh, this one and 8 is the last index we are passing indexes now uh, initialized with first index first one is here 1 uh, first one is less than or equal to last one 4 here uh, second in, uh, secondary first index is 5 less than or equal to 8 so we are talking about this two subarrays this one and uh, this one so now we are checking the array of first one array of first one is here uh, this index 1 less than array of uh, uh, second index first data so this one so 1 less than 2 1 less than 2 if it is the case uh, here what we will do we will assign the array of first one so one will be this is temporary array now so one will be assigned into the index number one so index is here one so we are placing the one into the uh, temporary array then we are incrementing the first index we are incrementing the first index so, so now first index will become two again it is going back uh, in the for loop so when it is going back so first index is 2 less than or equal to 4 uh, here same condition 5 less than or equal to 8 so now uh, this condition is true then we are checking array of first one array of 2 the array of 2 is 3 okay the array of first first index of array first array of first index so that is the 2 now so here 3 then the array of first 2 what is the value first 2 here the index value is 5 okay so this is 2 so here we are having 3 less than 2 this condition is false one condition is false it will come into the else portion here the array of first 2 second array first index the value is 2 so that will be assigned into the temporary array so 2 is placed in this position then uh, we are incrementing the first 2 first 2 value is here 5 second array first index so now it become 6 then now again for loop is incremented by 1 so now when you are incremented by 1 index is incremented by 1 so index is now 
or three right this three right so now the array of um, array of first one is two less than or equal to four so it is condition is uh, true it's here the first two is value changed here so six less than or equal to eight it is also true now we are coming back so we are checking the array of first one the array of first one is two less than array of first two first two is now incremented okay sixth index sixth index four so three less than four yes it is true if it is true the array of first one array of first one what is the index here two okay array of first one index okay that value is three so three is assigned into the temporary array index value is incremented here that is three so now this is placed in the uh, third index of temporary array three then first index is incremented so first index is here two now it is incremented three okay again for loop is incremented by one so now index value is four in the temporary array uh, this this place index value is four then we are checking uh, here uh, the first index is now three so okay here three less than or equal to four yes the condition is true and here it is not changed six less than or equal to eight condition is true now we are checking array of array of three okay first index first array array of three so array of three is here we are having the six so six less than uh, less than array index of first two the value at the sixth value at the sixth is four so this condition is six less than four this condition is false if condition is false now we will come into here else portion or uh, the array of first two array of first two is here sixth index sixth index we are having four okay so four is placing in the index value four of temporary index that temporary array that is placed here then first index first uh, index of second array is incremented earlier it was six and now it is incremented by one seven so now again for loop is incremented index value is now five in the temporary array this location now we are again checking uh the three less than or equal to four yes condition is true now this is incremented second array first index so seven less than or equal to eight it is true now we are checking array of first one what is the array of first one third index okay uh six so six less than okay six less than uh the first two in i mean second index first, uh, first second array first index is seven so six what is the value here in the seventh index we are having the five six less than five it is false okay once it is false else person will come into the picture so now the array of seventh index what is the value five okay array of seven index is five so five is assigned into the index value five so five is assigned at the index value five right then uh, first two is incremented what is the first two earlier seven so now it is incremented so eight right so again coming back a three less than four uh, less than or equal to four true now it is eight less than or equal to eight it is true again we are checking the array of first one array of first one is third index okay six so six less than array of first two what is the index value eight array of eight so six less than what is the value placed in the eight seven six less than seven yes the condition is true so now the array of first one the array of first one is uh, this index value six array of first one no index value is three okay index value is three so index value three is here so what is the value on the index value three six okay this is the this is the place six so six is placed at the index value six okay this is already incremented in the for loop so in the sixth position of the temporary array we are placing the six so index number six six is placed six is placed then now first index is incremented by one so this is now four so again coming back into the uh, for loop now we are checking uh, here uh, four less than or equal to four condition is true eight less than or equal to eight condition is true so now it is coming back the array of array of four array of four is here nine array of four is nine less than array of array of first two what is the first two uh, index eight so eighth index we are having seven 
okay so 9 less than 7 the condition is uh, false so it will come into the else portion in the else portion the eighth index value array of eighth index value is 7 so 7 is placed in the index value at 7 here that is incremented earlier so in the seventh index we are placing the 7 okay then uh, first index is incremented by 1 uh, so now this is 9 less than or equal to 8 so this condition is false only this is false it will come out of the for loop still you look at that uh, all four elements placed so second second array is completed second array is completed but first array still we are having the 9 which is not uh, completed so for that we can go this for loop you look at that first index is uh, already we are having first value is here look at that 3 okay first index value is uh, here 4 4 this one okay first in, first index uh, of uh, first array is 4 okay so 4 less than or equal to 4 and here we are incrementing the first index then it will become 5 uh, index also incremented earlier index value is here uh, 7 okay index value is 7 so now it is incremented right so now this is also 8 so now first one what is the array of uh, fourth index first array so 9 so 9 is placed in the temporary array of index number 8 so 9 will be placed in the uh, temporary array of index number 8 so already you look at that until 7 positions we have placed this on so the eighth position we are placing the array here. we are placing the element here again uh the first index is incremented right uh this is also incremented now uh five less than or equal to four so now the first one first one is here only four we are having so this condition will be false so it will come out of the loop and here this for loop is like this if second second array is over then we uh is this i mean remaining element we have to use this what is the first two first two is here nine first two is here nine so nine less than or equal to eight this condition is false this will not execute finally uh first index what is the first index first index will be uh, taken as a one and the last index will be a eight so now we are taking the temporary array so one two eight we are copying into the original array because we passed the original array here so we are copying the elements from temporary array this is temporary array into this original array right so we are sorting the element so here uh, finally we will get this sorted elements we are sorting one by one half of the things but all the elements n number of passes so n number of passes but partitioning the elements so the time complexity is n log n